The Shell and Tube Heat Exchanger incorporates an enormous amount of specialist expertise. To design a Shell and Tube Heat Exchanger, you need a great deal of know-how, which we've systematically acquired over the past few years, examining many different products for this purpose, meaning the flow characteristics and the heat transfer properties as well. In order to develop a machine like the Vario Acept, for example, we need three disciplines. Firstly, the mechanical design, then the process engineering, and also the automation. These three fields are of equal importance. The process engineering constitutes the foundation. For dimensioning a machine, we measure the viscosity of the products concerned in the laboratory, covering a series of different temperature ranges. The product's thermal conductivity is also ascertained in order to calculate the size of the unit required. Products may also be encountered which contain fruit chunks or fibers, which of course alters the drink's character. This is why we additionally determine the particle size distribution involved. For thermal product treatment, particularly when using our shell and tube heat exchangers, it's important for us to know precisely what our modules can do in terms of their hydro and thermodynamics and what performance capabilities they provide. We can check all this beforehand at our in-house pilot plant, which enables us to design the product concerned in fully customized compliance with the client's wishes. We've examined several different tube geometries. We found that certain product categories, for example, require us to use cross-corrugated tubes, which are specially structured to give us an enormous range of options. This means we can cover the entire bandwidth to optimum effect. Dass wir da also das Ganze perfekt abbilden können und aus meiner Sicht oder aus unserer Sicht deutlich besser als es die Konkurrenz kann. Die Konstruktion geht sogar bis ins letzte Detail, bis in die Rohrleitung. The design work goes down to even the tiniest detail, including the inside of the piping, of course. This forms the basis for our extensive tube production operations. In Ausmaß und dem Umfang betreiben, wie wir es aktuell auch haben. Der Fertigungsprozess. The production process for making pipes normally operates with tolerances expressed in millimeters. But in the case of these tube modules, the production equipment's accuracy is measured in tenths of a millimeter. Since some of the tube components are six meters long, this can safely be described as a milestone. Manufacturing accuracy is crucial here. The ambient temperatures have to be right, and the machine itself has to be adjusted with maximized precision. The welding work is another major challenge. A professional specification from the welder is essential. In the mechanical assembly shop, first of all the frames are erected and the tanks installed on them. It's all aligned in water to make sure that it's properly positioned. After this, the piping is fitted, delivered in its entirety by our own pipe bending center. Other components, like the shell and tube heat exchanger, are mounted, and everything's linked up to the main modules. Following the mechanical part, the electrics are installed. We fit cable ducts, bundle the cables, and route them to the control cubicle. We then put the entire line into operation, so that it's been tested 100% before it's delivered to the client. We possess the requisite peripherals in-house for this purpose. We can even run caustic and acid through the system, and we can test cleaning programs in their entirety. Wir haben ein sehr gutes Team aus Produktspezialisten. 
We've got a very good team, comprising product specialists, process engineers and our programmers. We all work very closely together. Our principal contact persons are the process engineers, who draw up descriptions for our lines and write our software. We then program it all. Any difficulties are cleared up immediately. We all work on the same floor, you see. All in all, I think our team does a fine job. The challenge, too, is that the line's individual components have to be properly coordinated for maximally effective interaction. They have to be designed as a coherent whole, harmonized for optimum efficacy, and later on they have to function properly at the client's facility. That's why we already simulate the interaction of the various systems concerned on our computers, in-house, which means we can test the interaction of all the components involved before the line actually goes into operation. Sustainability is a very important issue for us, and for our clients as well, of course. They want to have a cost-efficient production operation, meaning no product losses, low consumption figures for water and energy. With its Enviro program, Crohn's has laid the appropriate foundations for this, and it's already being reflected in our machines. We're continually optimizing our products and seeking out new ways and means to reduce consumption levels and to boost efficiency. When the client is satisfied with the line, then that's the greatest sense of achievement we can hope for. Now I hear that Cronus, especially on the septic technology, have their own uh, flash pasteurizers and they have also made quite a lot of new innovations into that. Um, I'm very encouraged by that. We have uh, almost 20 full turnkey lines that we utilize all the way from a processing room for hot fill all the way through to uh, um, palletizers at the end of the lines. It definitely has been the perfect solution for us. It's helped us grow very fast in the United States. We've done a, uh, our business has been growing 40% a year for the last 15 years, and Crohn's has been a, a big partner with us in that growth. That's what man, what man sich erarbeitet hat. When you see what you've spent such a long time creating actually works, you feel really good. That's when you reap the rewards of your labors. You know, quite simply, it works. And that's just great.